I love tally skiing. You know, I love skiing of all types. You know, it's kind of this adrenaline and intensity that, you know, I don't know where it comes from, but, you know, it's just, you know, rooted deep inside myself to go as absolutely hard as I can. And I think it's all adrenaline that, that gets you up that hill. Getting it back at Big Mountain has been real important to us because we have so many local racers that have um, been real important to the Telemark racing community um, in the country. We have some great racers here and we wanted to bring nationals back, back to the mountain. Real great support from Whitefish Mountain Resort putting us there on the showcase for the event is going to be, you know, with down Ptarmigan Bowl, basically the upper half of the Doug Smith downhill. It's exciting to have all the best Telemark racers in the country coming back and, you know, challenge Ptarmigan Bowl and uh, we'll see how it goes. I always like to say that Telemark is the sport of 10,000 falls. You know, you have to fall for many years to, in order to perfect this sport. So when you're coming around the gates, the, the main thing you're being judged on is boot space. And um, it's usually the length of your foot in between your front foot and your back foot. To be able to keep that correct, you're always having pressure on both your feet. You know, it's a common thing for a beginner to not have a lot of pressure on that back foot, and that tends to, you know, it creeps up a little close. So then another aspect of Telemark, which we have in all of our events, is we have a distance jump, which is kind of protecting or just honoring the tradition of Nordic. You know, that's where it really first started with uh, Sandre Norheim back in Morgadal County in Norway. And we have two events which involve skating, the classic disciplines. It's a one-run classic with up to a minute of skating at the bottom, the cross-country thing after doing the gates. Once again, kind of with the history of the Nordic there. So you get that and you get some all-terrain features, you know, some camel bumps and stuff to negotiate. And uh, so it's kind of like a little ATV thing, you know. <laughs> you got to be all-terrain vehicle in the classic. That's probably where you get the most nervous, is standing in that gate. You could see, you know, watching the Olympics this year, I mean, you could just see everybody up there. It's, it's that moment of, uh, you know, okay, this is it. I love how it combines three skiing elements all in one. Um, the ski jumping, the Nordic, and the gates. And so that, it, it keeps me in shape, keeps me uh, happy in the winter. Go, go Kelsey! Get there! Get there, Kelsey! Your legs are on fire, and you're just trying to, to keep standing up. Come on, you breathe, breathe! It's also your lungs, you know, it's a big endurance race, the sprint and the classic. You know, the, the combination of going downhill and having to sprint uphill, um, it really wears you out. You, you, you know, you feel it, you just, you know, when you're done, but it's like, you know, oh, you tele skiers are all slow, and, and so it's fun to kind of dispel that myth, you know. Significant changes, you know, definitely the commitment level people are putting into a sport which, you know, it isn't paying anything, but it's kind of a true amateur sport and uh, just seeing the commitment to people that are really excited about it and it's kind of a year-round thing, you know. Everybody that races Telemark finds their own way and sometimes for some people it's just free skiing a lot and getting to whatever races you can. The most rewarding thing is just the, you know, getting to go to Europe and and spend time skiing places, you know, how so lucky to be able to travel and ski and ski race. <laughs>